edition of What the Fuck yeah, Happenings in, in this YouTube place. <laughs> yeah, these people aren't even atheists, really. They really have all kinds of theories. They're little quantum gods. Information theory. Um, anyway, so we'll get to that probably. Maybe. We'll see. So, anyway, so there has been some controversy. Um, you know, all these naysayers that are out there. Um, arrogant, patronizing twats. Just any one of Piro's friends, actually. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Skyzer. I mean, he's Skyzer. I mean, he's a psychotic uh, twatopath. I, I mean, he, he, he is Skyzer critiquing somebody. I mean, he shouldn't, there should be a law, international law, that just says preposterous losers. I mean, losers of this level of losery have no business critiquing anything. I mean, they can't even tell possums they're walking crooked. I mean, come on, really. Skies are... I mean, he's a smaller man than me in every respect. <laughs> Shit. Anyway. It was funny. I, I mean, I've listened to some of this, but I like they just sat there and listened to this shit. And it was kind of curious. It was, didn't say anything, as far as I know. I, I don't know. I, I just jump in through little clips of it. Um, so it's not, you know, not much on this, this subject. They just get on the, you know whatever, Vic shows up and they just waste time talking all this stupid race crap and men's rights shit and whatever. I mean, the subjects I just really... I'm not going to solve those problems, buddy. Anyway, um, so, Alpha of Day did make a reasonable video. So, so he made a, a five unreasonable videos and so then he decides to make this a reasonable video. So I reasonably responded, um, but his critiques are, are just so obtuse, and so, you know, some of that content, I don't know if there's much value, some of it's going to have value, but I mean, some of it is just, I'm explaining to him why his obtuse element is not relevant, and just even going into the obtuseness is just so obtuse, so you just kind of lose all will to live at a certain point, because you're into such minutia. Um, and then the opposite extreme is Piro. I mean, Piro made some sort of idiotic video. Well, I'm not listening to your video. I'm not doing... I'm blah, blah, blah. And he sort of just basically admits he never even read the paper. I mean, the paper is not very long. <laughs> I mean, it's it's really like a 10-minute read at the most. Look, this is it. You know, it's... it's you know, I tried to make it as concise as possible. You know, that's all there is. And he couldn't handle it. Uh, you know, and he hangs on the, the most ludicrous things in the world. Uh, you know, photons generally move from point A to point B in a straight line. <laughs> That's controversial now. You can't say that. That's crazy talk. Silly. Absolutely silly that we shoot laser beams to the moon and bounce the light back and all. No way. That stuff's going crookedy as hell. I just, you're just saying, what's the fucking point if you, have, if you have to argue a statement that fucking innocuous? I don't really need to have it in here. I mean, I could just take it out. I mean, okay, straight line's not important. Speed really isn't that important. Now, the shape thing is sort of important because, yeah, polarization is important. So you're going to tell me polarization doesn't exist and that frequency doesn't exist? Well, yes, he's going to say that. He actually believes frequency doesn't exist as a concept, that light doesn't actually have a frequency. We decide what it has when we receive it. No. Yes, it's true that it is, it's fundamentally important uh, whether you're moving and you change the frequency of what's being produced by something, but the fact is it's what it is, okay? The fact that the pie is moving towards you at a speed and you change it from blueberry to apple. Uh, so I don't know. You can't even analogize that. But I mean, the point is, is the light is what it is. You know, you don't get to decide what it is. But anyway, I, it's just no point. So anyway, and, and this is like the most unimportant part of this document, right? I mean, the document has an explanation for magnetism in it. And it's uh, an explanation of gravity, the two big subjects. 
and uh, totally ignored. So anyway, I didn't want to get on this subject anyway. There's so many other things to talk about. So, my good friends, <laughs> um, Mike and Dee, did do a video together, and that was very nice. So, um, and uh, Dee's did a little art site thingy. I don't mean to trivialize it like it's little, but, you know, it's, it's starting off kind of thing. Um, so, very good, excellent, great, fantastic. I have to do the painting thing. I, don't, I just haven't gotten to it yet, but <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm going to start painting any day now, any minute. <laughs> It's going to happen. Um, so what else? Um, so yeah, there was the pure thing. Okay, so there's something by uh, you know Tommy from the Bronx. This this guy apparently has his own freaking channel or whatever. Uh, Joe Cool, whatever he is, uh, Pimp Buddy Poo Poo or something. Pimp Buddy Poo. So I don't know whatever it is, whatever it is. And and um, somebody give me the link. And you know Tommy from the Bronx was in this stupid room with these people who talk about pubic hair and shit. But anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, the, the woman was bitching about, like, somehow men should shave, and you're just like, <laughs> you know, really, it's, you're, you're not even going to, my pubic hair is going to be quite irrelevant, you, you know, if you're, uh, you know what I mean, <laughs> by the time you get to my pubic hair, you'll, you know. You'll think you just had an enema. Anyway, um, I mean, just the uh, whole conversation is just. People are, generally speaking, just basically gross. Uh, but anyway, so they, they went on this rag about, you know, this old drama. You know, and Tommy from the Bronx apparently wants to do this, let's dig up old drama shit or something. And, and so the, these assholes were talking about, like, 1943 drama between, uh, you know, me and that Devash Bill douchebag guy, and Peach, and, uh, you know, because I made some inappropriate jokes about Karina's visit, and, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just such, you, you know, I mean, really, it's, the, the video's there, there's just, you know, this is not fucking a horror show in any respect, and obviously Karina came back, and we did the there was supposed to be a documentary and all that kind of stuff. Well, anyway, so, but whatever. I mean, and then they did a whole rag on her, and they started fucking ragging on her personality or something. And I mean, it's just like, you're saying, what the fuck is this shit? So fuck you, Tommy. I mean, really. You know, I could have taken the money, you know, shithead. <laughs> you know, you're just such a fucking... I mean, I just like saying, you know, you're saying, why, why, did, why do I ever think these people are humans and they deserve anything? You know, but fiery death. You know, like the Pyrrhos. I mean, I actually had that scumbag in my fucking house. I mean, fuck. I mean, why do I, why am I fooled by these people and think, oh yeah, these are human beings? No, they're scum. Fucking cruddy scum. <laughs> yeah. Generally speaking. Except for Mike and D. And old fan, of course, who, you know, is working on her computer issues and blah, 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 and is doing the whole day after thing over the movie, you know, it's going to be the week after, the month after, and, you know, all personal human drama and all that kind of stuff, and you know, all that stuff does that, I mean, I, had, you know, I'll, I'll put the snow shoveling video in here just because I have to do something with it since I made the video, but anyway, so I'll actually have to edit this video, which, you know, fuck, I don't want to do that, so, anyway, so, that's, you know, it's all interesting stuff going on, sort of, kind of, maybe, possibly, um, so the other thing, it was really, I saw a snake Pisclinus did one of his room things, and, and his, you know, his father showed up in the room, right? And it was just bizarre. It was like, you know, I had no idea that he came, you know, I felt so, I, I felt a kind of empathy, because he was obviously the byproduct of retardation gone okay, you know what I mean? Sometimes retards have kids that are not retarded, but I mean, obviously his parents are retarded, and, and it's just... Wow, <laughs> you're just like wow. I mean, their red, their necks are so red you can't fucking, you know. But I mean, you know, I mean, a, you know, a father shows up in the room and says, "Well, if you're not going to talk about guns and sex and drugs, I'm not interested." I mean, you know, if my father did, I'd just have to blow my brains out, right? I mean, your, your father's got a, you know, plastic bottle with a, you know, made into a hookah, and you're just like, well, you can't even buy a glass hookah, you fucker. I mean, fuck, you can buy guns, though. I mean, he actually shot somebody in the face, and, yeah, I mean, you know, 
how do you how do you survive being raised by you know baboons? I mean, no. I mean, my parents were totally, in a lot of ways, just totally disinterested. But I, I mean, I'm much rather have that <laughs> that this is, you know that's something. I mean, just to have parents who are gonna like oh. I can't take them out in public. And, you know, his father is basically somebody you just can't take out in public. I mean, it's just, what the fuck? Sorry, but, I mean, it's, it's my impression. It's, it's one of these perverty old Santa Claus kind of guys. They're just like Chris Crappy. <laughs> oh, man. Chester the Molester at, you know, 70. Um... Well, anyway, so, yeah, it did give me a bit of empathy. Um, because I'm saying, Snake's done very well, considering, you know. But he's unemployed now, he's a mess, you know, he's fucked his whole life up with this bullshit. So, you know, but, you know, he needs a clean start. He has to get out of wherever he is anyway. Where the fuck is he living anyway? Some kind of Kansas or something. He's got to get the fuck out of there anyway. There's no place to live. Um, so, anyway, that was interesting. I mean, it was bizarre. It just makes you wonder and think and such. Yeah. Made me wonder and think and such. So I thought I had more stuff. I mean, it seems to me there was more stuff here. There was some other psychotic, stupid, crazy shit going on. But I don't see it here anywhere. Yeah, I don't. So anyway, that angry photographer guy did another open room. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. I, I say, look, open the room. And he says, I don't know how to do that. I'm like, oh, yeah, right, okay. You can transcribe C-script or something. You can do, you know, 700 languages. You know, everything, you have every camera on Earth ever made. You know, you have all this, and you can't figure out how to make a public room on YouTube? And you're not even, you know, I mean, the lack of willingness to even try. Just, you know, But he was willing to debate anybody. He's not afraid of anybody or anything. What are you afraid? <laughs> it's this guy. Yeah. But an interesting character. I mean, just, you know, he's got all these you know, people with backstories, you know. Lived with an older woman, she died of cancer, cost him $4 million, blah, 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 this, blah, blah. But he's got two houses, and he apparently can afford everything on Earth. He has every Tory ever made, and blah, 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 but he's broke, but, you know. And then he goes from being, you know, sort of not unhealthy to preposterously fat. And you're <laughs> he's smart enough to know that can't be good. That can't be a good plan. You know, and you're just like, wow, you know. But, you know, it takes all kinds, as some people say, now and then. You know, I mean, people say all kinds of shit, you know, so. Don't know if that matters. Um, I don't know what this warble's on a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, I think he does this kind of boring lately. So, yeah, I don't care. Um, so, I mean, i got to fill this with something else, right? There's got to be something else happening. I thought there was. I should have wrote shit down. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just doing my, you know, I'm doing to get this physics thing rolling. I can just got a little more work on it. I mean, I, so for all this controversy, all these people ragging at me, I have not edited anything, you know, so they're not making anything called a valuable contribution in any way. In a, in a sense, they haven't scared me with any kind of fact, <laughs> you know. Um, it was funny that the, some some guy posted a link where you know, I'm supposed to go to the, the the page proving relativity, and it's such a funny page on you know on Wikipedia, and it's just like somehow that was going to make me convince me of something. It's like you know that pretty much demonstrates my whole point. Um, and it's just these answers, that, you know, for these people, like, you know, especially Piero, I mean, like I said, this this pretentiousness about this whole thing, and and nobody can be at all suspicious of his gods, you know, and I'm just saying that, you know, they can come up with any kind of bullshit, hologramic uh, fucking theories, oh yeah, those are all valid theories, and, and just the whole idea that this whole contrivance of the invention of dark matter is just so obviously what they've done from the very beginning starting with Einstein's silly bent space bullshit. It's just a contrivance, a way they can't explain where the energy comes from for gravity, so they, they create a, a fake universe to pull the energy out of. It's just so obviously a contrivance. And you look at dark matter and you say, 
all they did was engineer a solution to a problem. They have a problem. They have to come up with some reason. There's more gravity. And so what do they do? They invent a magical, invisible, non-matter matter. So it has, every, it has absolutely no quality of any material thing we ever have heard of except one thing. It makes gravity. So it's, it's like some sort of Higgs booby of matter. You know, it's the, the Higgs boson version of matter. It's just some, let's just invent some kind of crappy thing that we can just shove into everything whenever we need extra gravity. We'll just shove in some dark matter. And it's just such an obvious contrivance. It's completely made up like a god. I mean, it's the god of the gaps all over the fuck. Fuck, you got a gap in your math and physics? Just invent some kind of dark thing. Or bend some fake space. Take some, take space and just bend it or twist, you know, just twist the space a little. You got a problem with a, an equation? Just twist space. You don't have to just bend it. You can twist it probably. You can probably crumple space into a ball. Yeah, just do anything you want with this stuff in the other dimension. You can do anything in that other dimension. So just invent a fifth dimension and uh, make it out of peanut butter and jelly and solve all your problems that way. I, I mean, it's just so obvious. Just obvious made-up crap. It's just a God theory. They just made it up, pretended this answers a question. How did we get here? Well, God made us. And that's exactly what they're doing to the universe. I mean, it's just so obvious. I mean, I never realized that it's a religion, but yeah, physics is a religion. It doesn't have anything to do with science or proof or evidence. It just has to do with, let's just find any glimmer of hope and put some, you know, we'll sprinkle some glue on it. We'll spread some glue on it and then sprinkle some glitter on it, and it'll all be okay. It doesn't have to have anything like, con it doesn't have to be sensible or reasonable. The girl says this overtly. Fuck reason. Like I said, he thinks philosophy is an academic exercise. He doesn't think it's supposed to be describing reality. So anyway, so well, let's, let's play a couple of clips and then we'll be done. I thought there was somebody else to comment on. I'm sorry if I slighted somebody. There was probably something really relevant and I missed it. I'm getting some weird ass related videos. Speedo man, what is that doing there? Physics videos and then. I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. And blah, blah, blah. And uh, I've always found it fascinating. And there can be bits of uh, truth in that stuff, too, because there's a lot of room in, in natural philosophy to do thinking about science. And some of these crazy theories... Yeah, yeah, so again, so, yeah, national, natural philosophy is about crazy... No, no, no. Either, you're either talking something reasonable or unreasonable, and reasonable and unreasonable should be based on something called evidence. And when you have to use things like invented dark matter to make your theory work, when you have to put that much glue on it to make it stick together, it's not meant to stick together. It's just not that you haven't got the puzzle pieces right if you've got to sit there and use that much, you know, if you've got to use the knives and scissors to get it to fit and glue. You've got the wrong theory. You know, kind of have like some little, you know, little token mm -hmm. of what they're trying to go for. Yeah, what were they trying to... So that, might be, that might be true, but when you have to resort to the, oh, it's a big conspiracy, you're keeping us out, isn't that yeah. precisely what the creationists do as well? Right, so the, we're all guilty, right? So, so there's no solution, right? So Einstein was a patent clerk, therefore unqualified to have an opinion, so nobody should have ever listened to him in the first place. Yeah, and it turns out he was just a silly crank because he was wrong about everything, right? I'm just saying this, you're not going to win with this stupid pigeon holy bullshit. All right, the argument and the and the quality of the argument should decide whether you listen to somebody. Now, if somebody starts talking shit about dark matter, it really shouldn't matter if it says PhD after his name, if all he's got to explain its invention is we needed to invent it. Yes, there's no evidence that it exists. We just needed something to fix our mathematical problem. If that's the if that's the explanation, I mean, fuck. You're saying nobody can say that's a God theory? And you're going to call the other people God theorists? I've already, you know, I'm conceding the point. There's a ton of people out there. There's a guy with a rope theory. There's this camera guy with his hyperbolic tropoloid theory. The, you know, there's people with perpetual motion theories. It's true. But that doesn't mean nobody 
can, uh, your authorities are now impervious to critique. And I'm just saying, I think it's quite obvious, all right, that for the last hundred years, they keep telling you, look, I know it sounds preposterous, but just go along with me. This is, it'll, it all works out. I trust me. Isn't that all they're saying? Yeah, quantum is, okay, it sounds preposterous. You know, the photons reading our minds and blah, blah, blah. But that's what it's really doing. Come on. You know, you can smell this shit. And this is shit. Frankly. Well, yeah. if, you can, if you can demonstrate an actual fucking conspiracy against you, fine. But just like <sighs> well, well, again, so that's another point, right? Did, when I, at Wikipedia, was it or was it not a conspiracy, right? People from YouTube who hated me uh, pretended not to be from YouTube and not to be haters and basically made sure that 10 links got wiped off of a page to prevent me from publishing on the page, right? The only way they could legitimate get, legitimately prevent me from publishing on the page was to, to apply the same standards to 10 other people and wipe them off the page. So they destroyed 10 links to spite me. It sounds, you know, because there was a few YouTube trolls, a couple of YouTube trolls playing the game. Just saying. I mean, look, there's professional physicists talking as if the single slit experiment doesn't exist. Am I supposed to believe they didn't take a basic physics course? Every single one of the online physics courses has single slit diffraction. How come they're not explaining when they do the two-slit experiment that, oh yeah, by the way, there's a pattern when there's one slit. So, fuck all this nonsense of talking about these two slits. It really doesn't matter. One slit will do it, too. They're too stupid to just admit that? They're ignorant of that fact? Am I supposed to believe that? Or uh, is the real truth they want to make this into something? Mystery and magic. I'm the master of the magic. They want to... They want to be magicians. They want everybody to believe they're so preposterously intelligent that they understand these magical forces. Yeah, it's their ego. Brickhead. It's a conspiracy. It, it, it's it's to find some shit. Did, didn't Inmendum have some sort of weird thing about... Oh, oh, this guy's talking about weird. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a little weird? This is an asshole who can't even sit in his chair straight. And he's going to call me, say something I'm doing is weird. This guy. This guy is going to call other people weird. Huh. Gee. That's kind of interesting. Not really. But there's like a pixel to... Uh, I don't know, he had this weird thing, like, the difference between this and this, and, uh, he is it. Wow, that, that was incredibly articulate. Don't you remember when I did that this and this video, and I was doing, like, this pixel this and this, and, you know, I remember that, too. Yeah, that, what was I, drunk or something when I did that video? So this is the, this is the caliber of critique you get, right? I mean, this is just, that's too brilliant, isn't it? I mean, oh, yeah, I'm pwned right there. Yeah, I sure did. I, yeah, I did that pixel this and this thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did that. No. Guilty. Fuck. And one time, and I said, what's your proof of this? And he, he was like, oh, it's all theoretical. Uh, where did that happen? Well, you know, where, show me the evidence of that douche. Yeah. Uh, well, the, well, this is the thing, right? And this is the this is because I seen Paros with you. Well, look, he's got a little symbol. <laughs> well, I'm a Nazi, Sinazi, <laughs> <I'm a> Sinazi, <laughs> Sinazi. Yeah, it's like a sneeze. Got a little symbol. Sky's your power. It's a crooked Z. See, <laughs> see. See the crooked Z? It's Skyther! With the Z! Oh, well, I've been watching Half a Days as well, or Hyper Day. Uh, no, I can't, can't say his name after 10 years on YouTube. Wow, that's brilliant. So, so, so let's see if there's any, like, even a kernel of something like a rational thing, like a, like a statement, like actually explaining how I'm wrong about something. 
Let's see if there is any in there. Yeah. Because anytime I mention science to Gary, he's like, oh, fucking science. And like, now he's doing the whole side. Where, where, where did this ever happen? Where, where have I even had a conversation with you in the last whatever amount of years where I didn't just say that from the very beginning, fuck you, Skyzer? Where is that? Where is where's that we've had a conversation in the last five years where I didn't just say, will somebody kick that fucking lunatic? Will somebody sh do something? Stop that. I cannot do this. I will not listen to farting sounds. I'm just not going to do that, okay? I mean, maybe you people want to sit in a room and listen to somebody farting, but I can't hear Skyzer doing anything else. Everything that comes out of his mouth just sounds to me exactly like a fart. He's like the greatest fart imitator in the history of mankind because he doesn't say anything that's ever anything. They're just noises that come out of a little human orifice. And this thing in particular, I'm just like, he's just such a hypocrite. Like, really, like, come on. What, what the fuck is this point? I'm a hypocrite. How? Any description of the hypocrisy here somewhere? Oh, no. Fucking guy doesn't even know what a mole is, and he's telling me like he knows. <laughs> I know what a weasel is, okay? It's, it probably weighs a lot more than a mole, fucker. Fucker. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I, I'm just saying that, you know, this will be part of my, you know, this will be, <laughs> this will be the histrionics of, of my success. We'll be pointing to these assholes and just recognizing, you, you know, I'm going to get it written down in physics somewhere, you know, some kind of little saying like, don't be a Pyro, which would, don't be a preposterously arrogant, patronizing snot. Okay, and certainly don't be you, fuckhead. I mean, Piro can almost handle the language of science. You can't even do that, retard. It's a pixely thing about this and this. And you're going to critique somebody? Sideways brain? I mean, amazing. <laughs> I mean, you should be like on milk cartons as a fucking intelligence molester. Well, I, I'm gonna go to say like he's probably he's probably has some sort of mild mental condition. Not yeah. to patronize. Oh, him. gee, not to patronize him, not to bring up something totally. Oh, like Einstein didn't have any any psychological issues at all. He was just a perfectly well-adjusted guy, right? Like everybody else. Like most scientists, like most great scientists, like even Feynman or all these people, they're all affected in some way or another. You know, you you're not going to be brilliant and be Joe Average, asshole. But you will probably be able to sit up straight. You won't, you won't have to do this. You'll figure out how to, hey, you know what? Maybe if I bend the camera to straightiest, then I won't have to lean over. Yeah. Yeah, you'll probably be able to handle that. Or anything. It's called up my stroke. Is that I'm bringing up the stroke now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all relevant to this conversation somehow. Yeah, that's where I got my theory from, the stroke. God, you people just suck so bad. So I'll just blame Piro being a complete imbecile and the fact that he had a brain aneurysm. I'll just bring that up, right? It's a brain aneurysm, yeah. So, yeah, Piro's retarded because he had a brain aneurysm. We all do. We all do. But the thing is, he's asked for feedback. And he wants yeah, no, I, yeah, intelligent feedback where you actually read the document. Yeah, asshole. I didn't ask for somebody to read two paragraphs and, and bitch because they don't think light travels in a straight line, generally speaking. Douchebag. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's absolutely no point to have a conversation if you, if you can't, if you think the average human being on Earth should have the impression that light is not a straight thing at all, it's crookedy all over the place, all the time it's doing all kinds of crookedy things. I mean, fuck, you can't even trust seeing your house for your front door because the light's all fucking bent all over the goddamn, your front door could be over there. Who the fuck, how do you fucking goddamn trust light? Light doesn't move straight. 
I mean, I can't even say fuck you loud enough to, to, to say, yeah, if that's what you call some sort of rational critique of a document that wasn't even about photons moving in straight lines because it's assumed that you sort of understand that's what they generally do. Yeah. Fuck you. All right, let's see. All right, well. Let's see if there's... Uh, there's probably nothing else here. But let's, there's a minute more, and then you'll be done. Scientists to give feedback, but if uh, just an amateur armchair, some science in college person... Yeah, whatever. Okay, Einstein in a patent office. Einstein in a patent office. So you should have mocked his... Well, you really should have mocked it, right? I mean, bent space. Somebody should have said, you going with this? I mean, isn't this model of... Gravity? Using gravity? I mean, isn't that cheating? I mean, you're explaining gravity by using gravity to explain gravity? I think that's cheating. And it's going to point out a detail. You're going to have to, you know, that's a little speed bump. You, you, you know, you might want to be able to get over that speed bump before you... Yeah, yeah, there's no fucking speed bump. I'm not changing anything. You obviously haven't made an argument that's anywhere close to being reasonable or rational. So, yeah whatever <laughs> scientist guy going to the brick wall <laughs> trying real. to argue this was, stuff yeah with I the thought, quantum I, mechanical they'd be like what the hell there's no there's nothing to really discuss I know, I would, I would look yes exactly there's nothing to really discuss because you have a religion okay and you're impervious to a rational or reasonable argument that has some sort of expectation that your evidence has is better than well we invented dark matter to fill all these problems with the fact that there's no gravity to create the lensing. So we just made some gravity to create the lensing. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with making up some fake matter to make fake gravity so we can say there's fake lensing? I mean, real lensing. Made out of fake matter having fake gravity. Yeah, and you're not frauds and phonies and you don't have any scientific integrity or passion whatsoever. You don't care, give a fuck about the idea of truth. You give a fuck about your silly, phantasmagorical fables um, because you're really glued to them as meaning something. I don't know what your catch is. I mean, maybe you own stock in, you know, quantum phantasmagorical, you know, the, the enterprise or the storefront. <laughs> you know, but fuck you. You're an idiot. You really are an idiot. To think that you, to think you can sit there and play a game where you don't even read a document and critique it. I mean, you're just disgusting. To call that anything but something that should be disrespected. Either if you if you're not going to be bothered to do something seriously, you don't do it at all. If you ain't going to do a job right, you don't do it at all. And you didn't do the job right, fuckhead. And you come to the table grossly ignorant. You don't even know what the, two, the single slit experiment is. You don't even understand the truth of it. You stupid fuck. Oh, here's Brickhead again. The point that um, it's, it's, it's insulting to the people who've trained for fucking years. Like this, yeah. this ah. things are like assembled. Ex exactly, right. So I, I spend at least three years on this. Um, again, watching every. Okay, all the lectures on, on um, physical mechanics, essentially, at MIT, Stanford, and Harvard. So I've watched the full first and second year lecture courses of physics. And you're saying I have no qualifications whatsoever. I haven't done any work. I've, I've done more research on the two-slit experiment than I would contend anybody on YouTube. I've seen more of them. I've read about more of them than I would contend anybody on YouTube. I know more two-slit experiments than anybody knows. But I'm not qualified. I haven't done anything to make myself informed and educated on the subject, says Brickhead. Have you read, read the paper, Brickhead? Have you? You're going to critique something you haven't even read, correct? You haven't read the paper, and yet you're going to critique it. And you're going to critique me and my qualifications. And you're going to do it in this arrogant manner where everybody listen to me, pay attention, see, I'm pointing out to you that this guy's a fraud. I have no evidence that he's a fraud. I have no evidence that he's ill-informed or ignorant. I'm just going to make the claim. And that's something that somebody should respect. No, I'll just say, you look like a pedophile, fucker. Prove to me.
expertise these people think they have. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, I'm not an expert on shit, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it. But I'll say, look, this I'm not a trained professional on this. This is my opinion. Or something, yeah. Yeah. It's, that's like me going up to a mechanic and going, oh, no, I built an engine. And they're like, did you? And I'm like, no, but this is my opinion. It's like, well, shut up then. You're... Well, again, so you're supposed to shut up then. So that's the attitude. Shut up doesn't matter, uh, unless you have a degree, right? So unless I get the, the little badge to wear, and I'm wearing my badge, I don't you know, that's all that counts. The badge makes the man, okay? And the badge makes them right. I think that's really dumb. But I already told you, what are you, what are you expecting from a twatapath? Shit. All right, well, now we're done. That's enough of this shit. Sorry, I went on longer than I should have on that crap. I mean, I knew there was not going to be anything like a real argument, like a real argument why this can't be true and how the single slit experiment does do something, it demonstrates something that doesn't prove the two slit experiment to be a complete fraud. But nothing like that. Not Nothing at all. I mean, somebody brought up Huygens somewhere, right? And I was just like, no, you're not going to do that, right? It's all Huygens. It's a, it's a fraud. It's fake. All that means is you take the regular math and you multiply by one half. You make two slits. You cut the distance in half so you can do exactly what you do in the two-slit experiment to the single-slit experiment. And you think that's valid. You think it's valid to cut a photon in half, make it go through two slits, so you can create an interference pattern. And you think that's a valid explanation of what actually takes place in reality. The photon hits the single slit, splits into two, and interferes with itself. I think that's a silly, I think it's silly nonsense. And anybody with any kind of reason should say, that sounds like absolute silly nonsense. It certainly doesn't happen with a water wave. There's no evidence that when I put water through a single slit, there's any fucking Huygens crap going on. No siree. So, yeah, you're just, your people are pathetic. And you're pathetic because you don't have an argument, you don't have evidence, and number one, the most important, you don't have anything, you don't have reason. What you're saying is not reasonable. It shouldn't pass any reasonable person's test of genuine and legitimate. It's crap. You're making shitty arguments and you're making them in a shitty manner. But what do I expect from fucking creepy humans? Fucking baboons. Anyway, till next time. Yeah, I know there's something else. I know I'm forgetting somebody, something, so sorry. Maybe next time.